Hi everyone, my name is Gisela Manaveka. I'm from Cape Town, South Africa. And this is my beautiful Corday. She's a nine-year-old thoroughbred mare and she's gorgeous, as you can see. Um, <laughs> she's my mastery horse. And that over there is my pony Tara. She's a rescue pony. I teach riding on her, but I also do straightness training with her just to help her with some physical issues that she has. Um, and um, okay, how I came to straightness training was um, actually not because of Corday, although she is my mastery horse, um, but because of a my other mare who is a Namibian warm blood. And I got her at the age of three years old and she had never had any training. She had never actually been handled at all. She was completely wild when I got her. And um, I just, I was looking for an approach which I could use that would, that would give me the right relationship with her that I was looking for. Um, up until that point, I had been using methods that were sort of largely pressure and release, um, negative reinforcement. Hi Tara. <laughs> negative reinforcement um, and I had been to the States to study with um, sort of a famous kind of horse whisperer um, at the time and and I had you know I found the, the methods were effective but they weren't giving me what I was really looking for in terms of relationship with the horse I wasn't I wasn't happy with what I was seeing on the horse's faces and their motivation they were the method worked, pressure and release works, but um, I didn't feel like the horses were really enjoying it, enjoying the training, and I didn't feel like I was really enjoying the training. So I was looking for something, for a new approach that I could use with my mare Mika. Um, and I came upon, upon straightness training on the internet, and immediately I was I was quite sold when I saw what it entailed when I looked into it and then I bought into the home study program and um, I looked into you know the, what it was about and immediately I was very drawn to it because I had already been searching up until that point for a different approach and I felt like um, the mastery program contained a lot of a lot if not almost all the good ideas that I'd seen from other trainers out there it incorporated all those ideas and um, and as well as others and you know it was it was very well rounded and very holistic approach to horsemanship very balanced and yeah kind of realistic you know not it wasn't airy fairy it wasn't all positive reinforce it wasn't all positive reinforcement and it wasn't all negative reinforcement it was very well balanced and thorough and holistic um, and it really put the horses first mentally and emotionally it, it had the horses best interests at heart and it's very ethical for me that was very important I felt it, I felt that it was a very ethical approach um, and then also it was one of the first programs that I had seen that actually took the biomechanics of the training into into consideration and as the, like a primary focus you know so not only was it a very well-rounded and ethical approach but it was also biomechanically sound and that it would benefit my horses and would allow them to become more more supple and stronger and more able to carry themselves properly and that really appealed to me I thought that was that was um, probably one of the main reasons that I that I got involved in it and um, and I don't I, I hadn't seen anything like that before especially not online you know I needed something that I could that I could study online because there's nothing really around where I am you know so um, yeah that was why I got involved well that's what drew me to straightness training um, and then um, yeah I've been doing it for about three years now I think um, and what I, I still love those things about it. I still love the fact that it's so um, holistic and it's so balanced and it's, you know, it's actually has a benefit for the horses physically. Um, and what I'm seeing more and more, and, and which I saw from the beginning, but I am seeing more and more, is that it, it has, it could have benefits for anyone in any equestrian discipline. And in fact, in my opinion, it should be the basis 
of training for anyone in any equestrian discipline, whatever that is, show jumping or dressage or cross country or whatever it is. Um, I feel that any horse would benefit from straightness training because it basically creates a horse that's balanced and supple and strong and is able to carry a rider in late into life, you know, and that's kind of what we all want, right? We want healthy, happy horses that are strong and able to carry us and be sound. So um, for me, that's just, it, it makes straightness training absolutely gold, you know, and I think that I'd, I, I think that the benefits are far beyond just um, what you can do with your horse in the arena. I think the health benefits of it for horses are really great. Um, so yeah, I'm a little bit of a straightness training diehard. <laughs> She's yawning here. Uh, the community is great as well. That was something that I've that I, I'm not extremely active on the community because I tend to be a little bit of a hermit. But I really like the community, the online community. And it's very supportive. It's very positive. It's very welcoming, which I, um, which I found to be sort of very refreshing in the horsey kind of world. Oftentimes, communities can can be not like that, and um, the straightness training community is very it's is very welcoming, and I like that. And it's very supportive and positive, and not not critical. And um, I really like the fact that it that. Marika act actively discourages um, kind of like shit talking <laughs> other disciplines and other people. You know, it's more about go and practice and do show through example and and be the example instead of you know sort of yapping your mouth off on the internet. So I really like that about the community. Uh, and then yeah, the evaluation program is extremely challenging. <laughs> It's, uh, it's, yeah, it's not easy at all and it makes you, it brings you back down to ground level and you go through many valleys of despair and then mountains of success and then valleys of despair again. It's a, it's a, um, a learning curve on, in its own right and it actually it just, it deepens the program for me. Um, the mastery program on its own is phenomenal. I mean, it's a massive library that you could just study for years and years and years. But um, the evaluation program takes things to a new level. Um, Tara agrees, having gone through one touchstone <laughs> with me. <laughs> um, and, uh, and it's very valuable. The feedback is incredibly detailed and the evaluators are very well trained and they really are spot on with their with their feedback and then it's nice because it's a you get a lot of quite a lot of feedback very detailed and according you know according to the sort of timeline in your video so you can really go through your video submission very slowly and read the feedback and over you know many times if necessary um and you can also go onto the evaluation portal and look at other people's touchstones and look at what they've done and look at their feedback. So it's very, although it's a distance learning program, the evaluation program makes it kind of, uh, you're not on your own. You can, you, can, you can get feedback and you can also compare your performance to other people's and see what they're doing right and you know what their feedback is and that kind of thing. So it's a nice support for the distance learning aspect of it. Yeah, the, I think the greatest challenge for me um, with straightness training has been, and it continues to be, I mean, there's, it's, it's such a deep program that there are many, many, many challenges, and I don't think you could ever really finish with it, you know, which is great, because it's not something that you can just do for six months and then you finish. It's a lifelong learning thing. You can do it for six months if you want to, but you can also do it for 20 years if you wanted to, and you would still be learning. Um, and I think one of the biggest challenges for me was, or has been and still is, um, to find a balanced relationship with my horse. Um, to not, to be balanced in myself so that I'm not a trainer that's bossing my horse around, but also not a trainer that's begging and pampering my horse because that also is, is not really doing justice to the dignity that my horse has and the intelligence that she has you know it's been really a learning curve for me to find out how to motivate her while still still honoring her intelligence and her dignity and seeing her for the for the sort of high achieving intelligent animal that she is and the fact that she loves to perform 
but also not putting her on a pedestal because she also has challenges, as do I, um, but just really finding the fine line of balance in the dynamic between us so that we actually have something that can resemble a partnership and not me at the bottom or me at the top, but us two working together. And, um, and while at the same time doing physical exercises that are quite demanding and challenging um, to get right, um, you know, and having to do all of those exercises at liberty as well, which requires the horse's buy-in as well as really good communication between you to make it look like a dance partnership or something, a relationship dynamic that's synchronized, you know, to make it look like anything resembling art, which is what I think horsemanship, horsemanship should look like, um, is very, very challenging. And it's, it's incredibly fascinating. And I think it's something that you can just keep on learning about um, for a very long time. And the physical exercises themselves are very fascinating in in how to get them right and how to bring out real quality and to find the essence of what the Grand Masters were talking about when they spoke about dressage is very challenging itself. But then to bring the horsemanship element into it as well is, um, is very interesting and it's very challenging and it's fascinating. and. You, get, you become addicted. <laughs> you become addicted, you become a straight and straining die hard. <laughs> so yes, that, that is my story and um, I'm loving it and I don't plan on leaving anytime soon. <laughs>